Hey, what's up, guys? This is Oakley. I'm going to be covering two bits of information in this video. The first is going to be the announcement of Kinane, a new commander for Total War Arena. And also, in the second half of this video, we're going to be covering a bit of that live stream event that happened last week in Burbank. Uh, Los Angeles. It was super fun. I was in attendance. It was great. That was to sort of uh, welcome the American server. So we'll be covering a little bit of that. Um, for the time being, I wanted to cover this commander right here. They give you some interesting backdrop of where the commander comes from, the rise to power, challenging the Daidochi, and then finally victory and death. So I'd never heard of this uh, particular commander before. Very interesting read. I'm glad that C is going for some less explored routes. Uh, as for the commander herself, she does have some very cool abilities. She seems to be more archer focused. So for example, the first um, ability that you have is, you know, it gives you the ability to fire rapidly with these barrages. Slaughter allows you to kill troops that have fallen to the ground much more quickly. Shock is an interesting cavalry charge mechanic that takes a little bo bit more timing. And then Hunt allows you to mark an enemy and maintain line of sight once it gets out of visibility. So some cool stuff kind of thrown into the mix here. I'm very excited as they bring more and more commanders. Each one brings new flavor and diversity to the game, so that's always a sign of a healthy title. Uh, and I'm really excited to play as this faction in particular. So far, Arena has been very fun, but I think it's been a little bit limited in terms of the casting tools. Replays don't work quite yet, but I hope to get that, um, you know, some live action or you know, first person stuff to you anyways. They did have some new stuff to the past. So Caltrops, for instance, have been removed from open infantry. Uh, Caltrops were very devastating. There was a little glitch where you could place them while in combat and just wreck people. They've improved matchmaking. They've switched up kind of some of the units, uh, pricing, and uh, they've made a bunch of bug improvements and fixes. So if you haven't picked up Total War Arena just yet, I would definitely recommend it. It is super fun. They also announced a new map that I got to play on recently. This one has gone live. It takes place in the Alps, and it's supposed to be the setting of where Hannibal presumably passed uh, into Italy through the uh, St. Bernard's Pass and so this is kind of supposed to represent that with camps along the road and all that and it was the future site of a Roman uh, settlement here or at least a fort and so they represent that visually. The map itself I've played a couple times very very fun kind of a narrow winding thing that plays kind of kind of like a rush um, but more of a narrow focus central rush um, with Key watchtowers, very cool terrain. I really like the maps uh, in Arena. They're doing a, a bang up job on these. They're super fun to play. So, again, definitely I couldn't recommend it enough. Another thing that I really, really wanted to call out was this ESL event. If you guys hadn't watched the live stream, go ahead and do that. I'll link it below. I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview of it here. It was very fun. They had a setup on two teams of 10, so you can see probably a bunch of familiar faces in front of you. I'm in the back uh, there, the second from the left in the back row, or sort of. You, you, you would have seen me. I'm next to Indy Pride in the rear. Then we have Prince of Macedon, RTK, uh, Burke, and other people. And then we had Lionheart with the Warcast, you know, Warrior of Sparta, uh, Alex the Rambler. People from the press were there. We had uh, actually people who won uh, raffles from the community who were present. Um, it was super, super fun. Like, I cannot... I'm a little bit biased because I was there. I got to meet all sorts of other people. So, you know, from my perspective, it was a blast to be a part of. Um, but I think this is just such a different environment for Total War. It was very much the multiplayer uh, community for Total War that we've never seen shine before. And I think it shone very, very brightly. Um, you know, we're, we're used to playing single player campaigns all by ourselves uh, online. So it was very, very different to, to get to play with everyone up front and personal. Senjutsu, Burke, uh the RTK clan guys here, Endzone, Prince of Mastodon. So we had a lot of time sort of off camera to chill, talk, and it was really kind of a cool bonding experience with a lot of people who we've only ever met online. Seeing each other face to face was just very fun. I'm going to go ahead and cover a little bit of the two teams right here. So they kind of pitched it as uh, Team Warcast, which is going to be at its core, Lionheart, Warrior of Sparta, and then Alex the Rambler. So this is going to be kind of the, the foreign or UK team. Uh, Admiral Price is in there. Bat Bailey's, Casanova, I'll let you read off the rest, and uh, you know some people. MMO Gamer, so we had the, the press guys attached to these teams. So it was supposed to be uh, a US versus... Um, the, the UK type of battle, but they kind of had to force people into the different uh, the different camps. Uh, this is Team America. <laughs> Prince of Mastodon uh, was the leader of our team. We had RTK Enzo, RTK Mercurius. Those guys were our veterans, giving us a lot of um, insight into the game, uh, prep time, uh, a lot of stuff beforehand, getting us used to it. 
Myself and Indie Pride playing here, Burke Black, Jesse Cox, Sunjetsu, Wubby Man, who was a, a raffle winner, then Shack News, another press, member of the press. Uh, I myself switched off between playing Artillery and Skirmishers, so I had a great time doing that. You'll see them kind of shout out my name a couple times in the uh, in the cast itself, uh, and they did a really good job of that. Uh, here you can see Burke uh, with the pirate outfit. Uh, very, very fun. You can see the, the mood was somewhat relaxed in the beginning. Uh, we got some cool practice time beforehand, got to chill in the studio, Dogbert there on the left, some of the crew there posing up front uh, in the main caster booth. I have to say the setup was awesome and the whole professionalism around this uh, was very cool to see from the part of CA to really engage in this front and, and try a different route for promoting this event. So I really hope you guys do take the time to check it out. Uh, it was very entertaining. Uh, this is us preparing for the event with the two RTKA guys kind of giving us strategy over breakfast. We had maps drawn out and we started talking strategy over pancakes and bacon. So that was the America, <laughs> very American way to do things. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop the commentary right here where you're going to see some video of kind of the, the introduction of the two commanders talking to each other and then I'm going to show a little bit of gameplay towards the end where they actually faced off in a battle. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave you guys here. Make sure to check the links below. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. A lot of tactics being worked out between these teams. Two teams, no doubt about it. Let's have a word from the captains. Sean, see what they're going to say. Thank you so much, D-Man. I am joined by Prince of Macedon and, of course, Lionheart. Lionheart, going to start with you. A little bit of an advantage there. You were part of the part of the gig that we did back in Cologne. Um, how has that phased in for you? How are you feeling going into this? Um, yeah, it was good. I mean, the Cologne event we managed to to win that. We had we worked out pretty pretty good team strategy. We worked well. Everyone pulled their weight, and you know we, we had a had a great victory from that. So I'm trying to use the tactics that work there, work with the. Uh, kind of some of the newer players that I've got in uh, in this team this time round, but uh, we've had a couple of practice matches so far, and yeah, Team America's doing pretty well so far. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how we need to adapt as as we go through the battles today. Now, uh, Prince Master, coming over to uh, to you. Obviously, this this is your first round. You do have Jesse in the team who has that uh, that that it's, I mean, the intel on how things went down before. How are you feeling going into this? I'm feeling really confident. When I saw my roster list, I knew I had a really good team. So uh, we all built a strategy based on the, the experience levels of our team. And as a, as a leader, I want to let loose them, just let them loose and do their thing. Now, I, I, I don't want to kind of, you know, let's say throw a little bit of extra, you know, gasoline on the fuels of, of, of uh, competition here. But obviously you are the oldest streamer, not by age, obviously, but just <laughs> by history, the oldest streamer that's actually been streaming Total War. And you at the moment are leading the charge on terms of your, uh, your actual follow, following. Is there a little bit of a competition between you guys here? I don't want to put you on the spot. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's always, um, it's always uh, been quite interesting watching our YouTube channels grow kind of sort of side by side and then just getting the getting the uh, the lead there but uh it's always always fun when me and prince maston uh, uh duke it out and uh, face each other it's on fair the field. to say you're friends right it's fair yeah. to say you're friends so it's at the moment at the, at, the, <laughs> at, the, at the moment at the moment you're still friends guys can, can we put perhaps a, a friendly wager on the line i mean i don't want to say i don't know if you're a beer drinking man or just say a slice of pizza what, what do you what, what do you what do you yeah, mean you something needs to be on the line here uh you can buy me a beer when we win <laughs> You can buy me a steak if I win. Um, you can see the commands coming down there. No one cross the river. No one go across the river. Don't do this. You could fall into the pits of doom. No caltrops or anything. Both team captains are staring at each other across the river. Okay, they're doing a countdown. <laughs> go! Oh no, is it going to be Lionheart, Prince of Macedon in the river? I think it might be. I think this might be a straight up river ramble. Here comes Alex the Rambler as well around the side. Ever present, backing up his buddy. And now they're just gonna pile in. The two captains going head to head. Rafa Mars being popped. Heavy infantry charges piling in. Lionheart actually missing out on that one. And that's a clever little play.